Welcome, I'm just going to do a quick video in how to set up the SM monitor to check your notes. So let's check it out. The monitor will work on Linux, Mac and Windows as well. All you have to do is install PowerShell. I'll put a link on the description where you can get it from github of course so you can go to github and get the files that you need you only need this file but you're also gonna need grp curl software i did include it here but you can get the official version on github as well so you can either download the file or we can either copy and put on an editor. Before we start with this, there's some things we need to do in our notes. So if you're running CLI node, you have your config main edge json just edit your config main edge json with any text editor and we need to change the grpc private listener from 1 to 7 which is your local host to 0 save and close that's done on SMAP, you might have to copy all this if it's not present on your file. Please keep in mind that opening this port to the world is a security risk as it allows an entity with bad intentions to remotely make changes to your node, like for example change your wallet address. However, if you don't advertise your IP or ports, you should be safe. Okay, now that I edit my file, uh, I'm gonna copy monitor PS1 file and grp curl hz all in one folder. Okay, it's all in the same folder here. And let's make the changes. You can use any editor, it's not too hard to understand, I think. So you got email here and you have your notes but i do recommend either using powershell ide or um, in my case i prefer uh, visual studio code they are free programs and very easy to use so if you didn't download the the, the grp curl software you can get one from this link here it's the one i use so let's start editing so if you want receive email notifications you need to put this to true in here you're going to put your email and here you're going to use your node information so call your nodes whatever you feel like and this is your ip for each node so i know my ports and you need to know what you use as well. So I'm just gonna set this up for now. They are comments, so if you want to enable more nodes, just uncomment this. I'm just going to do a few just for example. Um, so I'm going to do here a local node. I'm going to put this as a test and I'm going to put local. So local host if uh, you use the monitor in the same computer as the, the node
and this one I don't need. If you have more nodes than this, all you have to do is actually copy and put more nodes for your liking. That's it. Starting your node is easy, you just click and run with PowerShell. And your monitor will start. So as you can see I have one node offline and an email was sent. And I just received an email saying exactly that. So as you can see here, warning some nodes are offline. In this case, test that localhost is offline. As you can see here, test localhost. And that's it for the monitor, guys. Um, the monitor will also check if you're running the latest version. If, if you're not running the latest version, it will show like this in red. If you're not sync, it will show in red, it will show false as well. Same thing for smashing. In this case, I'm building a post and will show you basic information. So this is the the, the port, this is your smasher ID, this is actually quite good as uh, will able gives you an opportunity to check every ID to make sure you're not running duplicated nodes. Your SUs or units and the equivalent size as well. So you got the, the current layer, no sorry, you have your node layer the top layer and the verify layer on the network as well and then I think that's it guys I don't think I, I forgot everything thank you for watching